I've been wanting to organize my kitchen. This hurts. I think that's gonna be a lot of work. Hello guys, welcome back. This is my first vlog, so I'm super excited. So today is Monday, it's later in the day, later than three o'clock. I started my day late because I had a bunch of things to do earlier today. So now I'm going to get back into finishing my YouTube video, my I'm back video and i'm gonna work on the thumbnail right now and then i'm just gonna see if i can upload it today but i will not publish probably until either tomorrow tuesday or wednesday so one or the other um yeah hi so today's Tuesday. Um, I did upload my video yesterday. I had to get so much done with it. So I didn't get to record yesterday after that. But today it's live. I'll go check it out. I'm just getting ready for the day because today I have to do a lot of cleaning and I have to clean my kitchen. And I think that's going to be a lot of work. I've been wanting to organize my kitchen. I think things are out of place now you know with time you just start putting things wherever they can fit so i'm looking into organizing it i know it's gonna be a big task so i wonder how many days it's gonna take me to get it done so we'll see but first i wanted to try this mascara which i mentioned in my last video this is the elf big mood mascara and deep brown this is the brown one and i like brown for everyday look because I feel that it makes your eyelashes look more natural. I'm gonna curl my lashes first and I wanna see how it wears throughout the day. But I already see my lash relaxing on the side here and here in the middle. So we shall see. Okay, so this is what I have to work on today. The living room, I have to tidy it up. There's a bunch of toys there, a beach bag, shoes out of the cubby, of course, trollers, nerf darts, and sandals. All right, now I'm gonna dust and I'm gonna use my microfiber cloth and my homemade all-purpose cleaner, which is two cups of water, one teaspoon of dish soap, and about eight to 10 drops of tea tree oil. And it smells really, really good. Oh, I'm getting out of breath. <laughs> You know, this should be like for a TikTok. You know, those TikToks are like dun, 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 the gifts that my family give me. And when the toys were here, it should be like. Mm Okay, I'm tired. <laughs> All right, just wanted to, I'm a little sweaty. All right, I wanted to show you the mascara, and I think so far so good. I mean, I could tell that my lashes are a little more relaxed, not as curled. All right, I gotta go into the kitchen now. Okay, so here's my kitchen. And, oh yeah, I'm gonna use this. I don't know if you have ever used this. So good. So good for tiles and also your stove. I'm gonna use it on my stove because it's a little dirty and I'm gonna show you how it works. But I love this stuff. Oh, this is so good. Highly recommended. Vegan things. <laughs> and here is this area and on top of the fridge, which I need to organize. Well, not only this area, but also in my cabinets. Uh, I'm not gonna open those yet, but first I'm gonna work on this. So then after that, I'll show you the cabinets because probably that's gonna be for another day. Oh, and if you didn't know, this is my self-tape area. It's right in my kitchen, which I call this Little Kitchen Studios. And this is where I produce all my self-tapes for my auditions. So here, yeah, those are my lights, my ring lights, my boards to just contain the sound, and yeah, my mic. 
somewhere in there. Oh, and then here I have a place for snacks, which I also have to organize. Oh, caught it. I'm not sure if I showed you. I got a new kitchen garbage. And this is from Walmart. This is where I tuck it in when I am doing my self tape. But I love the size of it. And it's so cool. I have to take the sticker out. But I hope it doesn't leave part of the stickers. So if you guys have any idea of how to take stickers out, actually, you know what? Let me try it. Never mind. And then I have to clean this because it has fingerprints all over. But yeah, I like these garbages. It was like around 32 bucks in Walmart, so it's good. Got it. Oh, no. I think I got it. Okay, there's a little glue residue, but I think I'll get, I could get that out with the cleaner. All right. Okay, I'm gonna panic. This thing, I'm not moving. It's gonna stay there because there's only one outlet that I could plug to. You know, I watched so many videos for organization and now I can't remember any tips. Like, I'm blank. So I think I'm going to just put stuff according to what I think is functional for me. You know, I think that makes sense. So, yep. I'm gonna do that. All right, these are the cereal containers that my kids love, they use. And we don't eat a lot of different cereals, so I kind of wanted to leave it lower because usually they're up there and my little one wants to start serving his own breakfast. So I kind of want to leave it low enough so he could grab it and just serve himself some cereal. Maybe some here. I don't know, but I also wanted to put our bread here as well. I think the waters are gonna stay where they were at because it was it's easier, it's a good height. And I think I'm gonna leave the um, protein there as well. You know what, the extras are gonna go back here. I think it's much easier and it's more practical. I like this here and I think I'm gonna put the bread here. I will put the cereal containers here, but I know my kids, I know this will be... I don't drop them mess up my lights, so no. It has to be somewhere secure. Even if it tilts, it just hit this part. It won't go any further. So yeah, this is where it's staying. Okay. Oh, if I have to lift that up every time I have to make pancakes, no, we're not eating pancakes. I don't have a lot of counter space, so I like to keep my stuff in shelves. I think they're handy enough for me to just take it out and use it when I need it and then put it back. Maybe that will be nice for a bread cabinet. I think so. I don't think the bread may, the bread should go there actually. But then what else would I put there? Okay, one of the reasons that I like to have it open like this and look at it, it's because I usually forget what I have. Like things in the cabinets up there, I'm sure there's a lot of things that are expired because I don't see them. Yeah, I like to keep the staples that we use handy. All right, so I think I'm gonna stop there for today because I'm pretty tired. All right, so this is what we have so far. The cereal containers with extra cereals back there. A colder, not sure what's gonna go there yet. Microwave, water, protein, bread, bread cabinet, what else is here? Pretzels, oatmeal, instant pot, potatoes and onions, spaghetti, rice, lentils, also brown rice once I get a container. These have other places to go. I also got these from Amazon because, like I mentioned, I like to see the stuff I'm working with. And I thought it was pretty cute. Look at this. You know, I like the fact that it matches the black in the stove. And I got these oil containers and an oil spray, which is awesome. I highly recommend that. This one is canola oil. This one is vegetable, grapeseed, and olive oil. And as usual, I haven't labeled it either. Okay, I promise I will label this either tomorrow or the day after, okay? Here are my set of knives, garlic, and I have this little thing that I bought on Amazon that I love because once I'm done washing dishes, 
with the gloves I could just put it over here and they just hang to dry instead of putting it in the sink yeah mine are the pink my husband's is the green and it's so good I love it it looks so cute hi okay so today is Friday um, I kind of put the kitchen on hold because I had to get ready for some additions I have five additions to do and today I think I'm doing two to three I'm hoping for three two of them they're more longer and i really need to focus more on that i need to break down the script a little more we'll see anyway so right after my auditions i'm going to keep going with the kitchen so we'll continue on that journey that was kind of intense there was one that oh man it was really sensitive and this really got me i really felt it in there and oh man whew. I have to take a few deep breaths so I can shake that off. <laughs> open the windows, let some air in. So now I just have to edit those videos and submit them in. I only did two because after I started crying, that's it. Like my makeup started melting, my nose started getting red. So maybe I'm gonna take a break and I'm gonna try to squeeze the third one, maybe tonight. But whew, my mind needs a little break. <laughs> All right, so what I'm working on today is this utensil drawer it's here's a silverware there's some straws random things you know measuring cups spoons ketchup packets clips measuring little cups uh ramen soup spoons and some baby stuff that my little one is not a baby anymore so i just have to take those out um and i'm going to replace it with this black one right here i thought it was nice it has extension Oop. i can't do it with one hand but it has an extension and I also got new silverware. Oh, but this is gold. So I thought it would be nice to switch it up and I thought it would be make a nice contrast in this organizer. I think it looks good, so I'm excited. I have a lot of jar tops because I make my my overnight oats in them, so I really use them all the time. silverware has to go sideways i don't know but mine doesn't fit yeah i don't think this will fit no so what i do actually i put half and half like this and then the other half this way i don't know let me know which one you like better all of them in one direction or half and half half and half but it makes it look fuller so i like that i also could do them like this same space so the little spoons and then the big spoons and the big forks and the little forks i'll leave these knives here and i gain two more compartments i think i'm gonna put it this way i mean it looks prettier the other way but i feel like i'm gonna need more space these are straws from water bottles so i'm not gonna use these right now so i'm gonna put them right here with the longer straws because doesn't fit there but these are the ones that we use the most and i'm gonna put these straw brushes right along with them because i use them often all right now i'm going to put the chopsticks because here in our house we eat with chopsticks sometimes okay so we got those there yeah i think i have a lot of space actually i'm gonna put these here So you know these come with these chopstick ears so you put these little handles on actually this is how it came and then they learn how to eat with chopsticks as they grow and they learn you could start taking them off and then you could eventually just take these off and they become chopsticks all right that's as far as i'm gonna go with the kitchen today because i'm exhausted and i'm gonna leave that third edition for tomorrow but um yeah, I'm starving.
All right, so I'm finally getting a few of the things that I need for the kitchen, especially for my cabinets. Ooh. That is so cool that now they come separated by plastic because I read in the reviews that they used to come together like this with no separation and they were stuck and they would break. But it's really cool that now they're separated by plastic. Wow, they look good. They look really nice. I did measure these already, so I know that they're gonna fit in my cabinet. I also ordered these here. These are tea caddies, which I'm super excited because I thought they were so cute. So you put the tea bags here. So today I'm gonna be working on this drawer right here. And I have gotten these dividers, I believe about a year and a half ago, and they have helped a lot. But I have also stuff here that I don't really use. So I'm gonna declutter that and whatever are like spoons and things like that, I'm gonna put it on this caddy right here. I wanna have half of this drawer be for tea bags. I mean, we drink tea, but I think it'll be cute just to have, you know, a designated area just for tea. And let me show you where I keep my tea bags. <laughs> It's all the stuff I have to organize. And I keep a lot of tea boxes over there. Uh, there's chamomile there, the sugar. And all of this stuff has just been randomly placed everywhere. Yeah, I have to organize all of that. And there's stuff there for just baking. There's extra stuff there of food. And here also, here are my spices, which I definitely have to organize. And there's like more food up there that I haven't even touched in, in a while, so. I wouldn't be surprised if something here is expired. Okay, one of the things I have problems with is deciding. Like, I mean, I could definitely go through all of these throughout things that are expired, but as far as organizing it, it takes me a little while, so bear with me. But I'm gonna keep on going tomorrow because right now I have to get dinner ready and then I have to work out at the gym. So that's gonna be pretty much, by the time I come back, it's gonna be pretty late. So yeah, I'm gonna continue tomorrow. Isn't it funny how you go to Target for just one thing and then end up buying something else? I was trying to be so good, but then I saw these two things and I decided to get them. So I found this little vase and it was three bucks. And I thought it would be good for here when I do my videos. I'm gonna put another plant over there. Oh yeah, by the way, this here is never that empty. I usually just take the baskets out, everything else, and just decorate with certain things when I do my sit down videos. And I also found this for five dollars and it's a caddy it's a rotating caddy so i thought it was cool maybe i could use this somewhere in the kitchen or maybe in my bathroom but i thought it was cool for five bucks and primarily i went for this which smells really good so i'm gonna try it out some natural deodorants like you know it's it's just so weird because with natural deodorants sometimes it's hard it's a hit or miss either they work well on me especially Sometimes it could last a whole day, but it caused me a rash, or sometimes it just goes away after a few hours, so you have to reapply. So this is the first time I'm trying this one, and I'm gonna see how my experience with this is. So I'll let you know if it's good. All right, I got these LED light bulbs. These are glow light bulbs for vanities in the bathroom. I'm gonna try these because I want to create content in my bathroom, and the light in there is a little too yellow. So I got these daylight ones and I'm gonna see how they're gonna work. Also got these sponges. I thought it was cool because this is natural plant-based sponge. I wanna see how they are, if they work good. When I saw these, I was like, hmm, these are eco-friendly ones. 
compost and biodegradable. And I got myself a whole lot of LED light bulbs. And these are also daylight because in my kitchen, some of the lights burned out and it's still a little yellow. I filmed there myself tapes. I need the lights to be a little more daylight. So that's a tiny Amazon haul right there. See, it's yellow. All right, so I'm gonna change them and see how it looks. Okay, moment of truth. Ta-da! I think it's much better than before. It was way too yellow. My husband will kill me if he saw me like this. <laughs> I'm gonna go through all of these and just Chuck everything that's expired. I have so many split feet bags. It's like, you can't find them. And I always say, where are they? And I, they were all up there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six bags. <laughs> From now on, I'm gonna make a conscious effort to look through my cabinets every two weeks to make sure that I use everything that's in there. This is that. Ta-da! I'm gonna clean all of that and then take off these hooks here. I don't know. Oops. I don't know. I guess they used to hang the cups here or something. Oh. Oh, I need something like pliers to take them out. What I'm gonna use for the seasoning are gonna be these here, these turntables. They're 10 inches, so I thought it would be cute over there for the seasonings. This hurts. Oh. Like two down and a hundred more of them to go. Okay, so I just got two new fans, so we should try this again. And this is the brand Dreo, and this is from Amazon. And I'm gonna test it. It comes with this remote, and let's see. One, two, ooh, one was decent. It feels good. Okay, three, and four. Oh, I love this. The other one was making that clunky noise. Wow, I like that. It's really good. Let me see what other stuff it has. It has, okay, that's regular air, natural air. This is a timer, and this is auto. And the cool thing is that you can also have it rotating. And it's not super loud. Oh, I love this. Definitely recommend it. I'm thinking of putting the main spices on these two turntables. And maybe put the extra spices back there so as I keep using them, I could just refill them. I think these are cute. All right, so that day I didn't finish all the way up, but uh, day after I did, I'm gonna show you right now what I have so far. There's some tea bags that require to be sealed. So I found a jar to put them in. Here's for tea and some coffee. Here are our vitamins. Are some for snack. I put the syrup here with the TBH. Peanut butter, there's extra jelly that has not been opened, and some dry foods. Here are things for baking. And here I put our baking accessories. All the way up to here, and also here for cookies and sprinkles and over there there's stuff for cake decorating i mean i'm not sure when i'm gonna use that but <laughs> i just kept it there just in case you never know when you're gonna need it and here i have a lot of space well here i put the extra burrito filters and this mold here that can fit here so i just put the extra and here are the nut milk bags i wanted to do my own milk so i'm still yet to try this and on this side right here here's how it looks here are the extras. I love it. It's been so useful for us. Just, you know, having it 
so nice and neat and putting things back it's just been awesome here i have like rice vinegar and liquid smoke in the back is sea salt it's a big jar here are stuff that we usually use to top with foods or some sometimes to cook with here are sesame seeds cayenne pepper we want something spicy and the uh, pepper flakes and nutritional yeast which we always put on top of pasta because it gives it a cheesy flavor here are stuff that i cook with other types of seasoning um, i do have here some ginger for the times that we make sushi here is the wasabi powder mint leaves thyme gravy and other things to make soup and also instant tofu miso soup there. and here i have the sushi sheets that we love and in the back there are things like pans that we use, not so often, but things that, you know, once in a while we use. But here are the things I'm usually reaching out for. And here I have my cashews, not, the whole bag didn't fit, so I have the extra there. I make pasta sauce with this, like an Alfredo, and I also make a Peruvian dish called Papa La Huancaina, which I make the cream out of this instead of cheese. And this here, I have quinoa, and I put behind it more quinoa. I have some Thai noodles. That we use uh, sushi rice. I have three, uh, and here's the couscous that we use for soup. And back there, I put um, the pastas. So I have a lot of pasta, so I could just grab it when I really need it. And up here, I put all the extra beans. Over there are the split peas. Here I have some chickpeas, Peruvian corn, which we make Peruvian popcorn with. Here are the lima beans and a whole ton of brown rice yeah i put it nice and neat so i know what i have and i know what i need to start using so it's working out perfectly okay so i already had to clean my stove top from the last time i told you but i cooked yesterday and the day before yesterday we made trays we did a lot of food prep so now it's really really dirty and i'm going to show you how the pink stuff works on this because it's amazing And look at that nice and shiny and super clean such a great product you guys have to try it hello guys i just finished an audition and now i'm gonna finish the kitchen once and for all because it's going on too long it's been more than two weeks and this video is getting pretty long <laughs> so i definitely have to finish it today i'm gonna be working on on the other set of cabinets across from the ones that i worked on and i'm also going to be working on the snack corner right here which i organized this a while ago and i think right now it just things got thrown over there and you know it's messy and i just have to see if anything expired or stuff that we didn't eat and just clean that up um yeah my luck they came to do yard work today it's monday usually come tuesday but they like to surprise me in this set of cabinets i have my plate my bowls you know things like that for eating and on top i have canned goods which i'm not sure if it's the right place for them um, i think i'm gonna split the excess of canned goods and start the emergency cabinet in case of a natural disaster you know california it's known for earthquakes so i think i'm gonna start that over here i do have some water on the cabinets on top of the fridge but i think that's gonna be my main emergency food cabinet yeah so i'm gonna do that and yeah hopefully we'll finish no not hopefully we will finish today all right so this is what we got here are my plates and here are some random stuff well here i usually keep it for my kids lunches and here stuff that i do with ice and i guess the stuff just fell over <laughs> which is like a taco kit and here are some cans and yeah that's what i have here for you know handy sometimes i just grab quickly a can of beans or you know vegetables when i just don't have time and here are some jars these are my mason jars where i drink my smoothies or my iced coffees these are the ones i use for my overnight oats okay you know how early in the video i I said that my husband would kill me if he found me climbing. It's because when I was pregnant, I used to climb everything. I mean, I still do climb everything. 
but I used to be on the edge of the couch putting my curtains up and or I would be in the ledge of the tub putting the shower curtains on and he will always come in at that moment when I was like and he would be like hey be careful get down you know that's why I said you would kill me he saw me doing this I mean which you know he will say something when he sees this video so yeah and it just reminded me of that I'm also gonna put these on this container these are stash of reusable bags and they're for snacks i have a few of them they're dry enough but these are so good so i highly recommend this and this one is a sandwich holder and it's smaller than these two these are all for lunches oh i don't know if it'll fit oh no never mind i think i'm just put all these holders here and maybe i'll have a different one for these here i have more so i think it's gonna fill up and in this container i'm gonna put these we used to make ice pops and these two these are from ikea i bought them a long long time ago and i still have them they're just fun yeah it's looking really good i don't know if i mentioned to you about my plates but my plates i love and they're chip resistant which 100 percent they are i really i washed by hand they're always hitting each other and stuff in in four years i haven't had any chips i have lost two plates well two bowls because it has dropped on my counter which is made out of tile but that's the only way in four years i only lost two of them and none of them have any chips they're really chip resistant so highly recommend them and this is the fiesta collection of bed bath and beyond they're a little on the pricey side but well worth the money okay so i'm done with this side here i have extra ketchup extra barbecue salsa and taco kit so what I did here, I put rows of cans. So here, all the way back is old corn. There, all the way back, cut greens, garbanzo, green pigeon peas, lentils, tomato paste, and also I have crushed tomatoes back there. Soups, vegetable broth, my green jackfruit, and the larger cans of black beans. I think it looks good. I mean, I just didn't want to get those things that, you know, you could actually make it look better, the, the little steps, because I think it would just waste space under those steps, but this works for me. All right, and here are the kind nets on top of my fridge i guess i already have started putting some extra cans the um, coconut milk and here is the corn that i just took out from the other cabinets yeah i'm definitely gonna use this cabinet to be my emergency food cabinet have you guys ever tried hippies so good protein and if you want an alternate to Cheetos this is a good one right what Cheetos and what uh, I meant cheese doodles okay so I cleaned it out and unfortunately I don't have a lot of snacks to fill it up with I have to go grocery shopping we're pretty much out of everything so i will put that video at the end of this well here i usually have my laundry pots i use this one right here oh it's so heavy Ugh. this is seventh generation and it's so good and this is for sensitive skin because that's what my kids and myself have so these are the laundry pots and behind here i have the dryer balls i usually put it here because it is easier to just lift and grab one and just go to laundry here I put all the chips and I like this setup with these supper baskets because if my kids see it they will eat it all so it is a little hidden and you know things last longer so when they want snacks I just pop a bag out and be like here here you go <laughs> here I put the ice cream cones that we have and I have three of them because I kept buying them and I found them in other cabinets so I have three and here I have a secret stash of candy which we rarely eat it's been there for a while now and next to it I put their two lunch bags here I usually have like cookies you know crackers things like that and here we usually have these for our go, -go squeeze different flavors and some almonds and here I have some bags plastic bags which I really don't like to have 
and I usually go and take it where you can actually drop them off because I don't really use them. I have a lot of reusable bags on this side here. Let me show you. This bag over here has all my reusable bags and that's it. So what you're going to see next is how I stack them all up. And last, I'm going to clean my fridge because I saw in the other footage that there's a lot of fingerprints. So it's time to clean it. And I'm using the eco-friendly sponges I got and they're really, really good. I'm using the soft side so it doesn't scratch. Oh, and in case you were wondering, this is the dish liquid we use, which is a seventh generation professional. That's much better. I love when it's so clean. Hi. So I'm finally finished and I'm so glad and excited because now I know what I have and where I have it and it's so much easier when everything is organized. So I know this video was kind of long but it was super fun. I hope you enjoyed it and please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!